Hi guys, we're doing another tutorial today. Uh, I'll be showing you how to set up the uh, iFootage mini crane. They call it a mini crane, but it's really a jib arm. Um, so it comes in this nice little soft case. It's very lightweight, mounting plate, tie down, screw. So that goes together with the screw, so the tie down. And last but not least, the jib arm itself. So this is the base. That screw goes into the base. And um, this unscrews because, you, as you see, this is kind of like sticking out. Um, so if for transportation, it would be left in like that. There's a high danger of it, you know, bumping into something or like the thread damaged. So that's why when we're done using it, we take the whole thing off and put it back in one of the pouches. Okay, the other couple of pieces that we need to set this up is a Manfrotto tripod, so like a sturdy tripod. Um, some kind of box. Uh, here it's a full Apple box. And at least one 15 pound sandbag. We're going to use this as, as counterweight. I want to start by taking off the fluid head from the tripod, the Manfrotto tripod. So I do this by loosening the tie down. And I want to make sure I have my hand on the fluid head while I take, uh, I loosen the screw, the tie down, because otherwise it might fall off. La, la, la. Okay. So next we want to put the uh, jib arm where the fluid head was. So do you see how this has a ball like here, 100 millimeter ball that goes in the bowl where um, we just took off the fluid head. And then we want to meet the screw at the bottom with the tie down. It helps if the jib arm is locked at that point. So you lock it by turning that red wheel where it says tighten. And then it's kind of locked. So you, at least you don't get your fingers jammed. And then you meet the tie down with the screw at the bottom, you lock it down all the way. You can't really see it here, but at the center there's a bubble, like a level. So just as with the uh, fluid head, I want to loosen the tie down, arranging the bubble that it uh, aligns with the center of the circle, and then tighten the tie down. The next thing we want to do after we attach the jib arm to our tripod is we want to extend the jib. Do you see like how it has two horizontal beams basically here? So two horizontal um, and each one of them has a lock. So these red things are the locks. So unlock these and then pull out the extension. Do you see how it gets longer? All right. And then once uh, you extended it, lock both of them. The next thing we want to do is to set down the front where the camera is going to go on an Apple box so we have a comfortable working height. To mount the camera on the jib arm, you have two options. You can either mount it uh, with your fluid head on this ball adapter, or you can just mount it straight up to a mounting plate. So this is the version where I put the uh, mounting plate on. All right, just the mounting plate. Tighten that. And then it goes right onto our jib arm, just it would go onto a uh, fluid head. And then it clicks in place, it locks. The safety clicks in place and then you want to tighten 
the screw. All right, so now that it's mounted, um, we need to balance the camera. See, like now it's very front heavy, right? Because we got a lot of weight on here, but we don't have any weight on the other side. So it's like a seesaw, right? To balance the other side, uh, there's a little rod that we can extend. So we have to unlock it. And then this rod comes out, okay? And then it has a little protective cap. We take it off. And then you see there's an eye here and there's a carabiner. And we attach the counterweight to this carabiner. In this case, we're just using a 15 pound sandbag. Put the carabiner on and engage it into the eye. And before we balance, we want to make sure we got all the accessories on the camera, right? We have the battery on there, we have the card, we have the lens, we have the sunshade, we have everything that we want to use, because otherwise we balance it and we add some stuff, it's going to be unbalanced again. So make sure you have all the accessories um, that you are planning to use on the camera. So now that we have everything on the camera that we need, um, we just pull out the counterweight until the camera takes off, until the camera floats, basically. So let's see. Oh, there it goes. All right. So as I said, it's like a seesaw, right? So now we got the equal amount of weight in the back as we have in the front. And the camera becomes airborne. There's two more things I want to show you about the jib arm. So um, first of all, you got a little uh, brake here. It's not really a brake. It doesn't hold much, right? So, I mean, if you're fairly balanced and you tighten it all the way, yeah, it does kind of hold it, but you never want to let go of the camera when, you, when it's on the jib and like just let it unsupervised. Don't rely on the screw here too much on this brake. It's not a real brake. All right, cool. So you see it's mostly balanced. It's a little heavy on this side. Sometimes you want to have it a little heavy on this side, right? If you need, if you have a camera move that requires the camera to go up really fast, maybe you want it a little heavy on this side. Um, but you know, that depends on the move. With this screw, that allows me to level the camera. Do you see when I twist that screw here, the camera goes up, it tilts up, and when I go the other way, it tilts down. All right, so I can decide, do I want the camera to be level? Do I want it to be like looking down a little bit? Do I want it to be tilted up? All right, there's another adjustment that I can make. Um, so you see this little knob here? I can loosen and tighten that. So if I want to change it, um, I just have to unlock it first. And then you see this little scale where it goes from zero to eight. And you see how that lower bar comes up and down. And this determines how the tilt is going to behave as we boom up. See what happens if I put it to zero, how that's different to when I put it on eight. So now it's on zero, right? Watch what the camera does when I go up. So I boom up and the camera stays level. It keeps the horizon, it stays level. All right, so now we change the lower bar, go here to eight. And now as I boom up, you see what happens with the camera? It tilts down. So it's not keeping the horizon. As you see, we can keep her at eye level for longer and it has a different feel to it. Also watch out for the uh, awesome parallax movement in the background right like the whole world is moving and the background is moving slower than the foreground 
So all the different layers stacked into the depth of the frame are moving at a different speed. So now I want to show you the other option to mount the camera. Instead of mounting it straight on the mounting plate to the jib, um, I'm going to add the fluid head between the jib and the camera. So instead of the mounting plate, this part of the, of the ball adapter slides into the jib just from the front and then until it clicks and then just lock it here. And now we add the fluid head that we took off the tripod and add it into the bowl. Attaching it with the uh, tie down. Can use to use the uh, bubble to level it. Take the mounting plate, the dovetail from the uh, fluid head, put the camera on it. And now we slide the camera onto the fluid head, like so, and lock it. So obviously we added more weight to it. I'm going with a 25 pound sandbag now. And there we go. Just balancing that. All right, and that seems pretty balanced right there. Okay, so now what I have done by adding the fluid head, it allows me to have full control over the camera panning and tilting. All right, and that's our jib arm. Thanks for watching the tutorial and keep an eye out for more tutorials to come. I'll see you soon.